you try to recruit the state of Texas more, for instance, coming yeah, into the Big 12? We've had great great success with players from Texas. I mean, our, uh, I, off, off the top of my head, we have our, our, our receiver, Keanu Hill, it's from Trinity, you know, so there's a lot of great players here, and there's a, gra- a lot of um, members that are here of the church that, 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 that uh, play football, so I'd like to like to see if we can get some of them and, and, and recruit in this state because we're going to be playing in this state, so yeah. it's not like the, the – the things that people have said in the past don't really apply anymore. Where they say, "Well, they're not, they're not P5 and they're not Big 12." Well, now we are, so it'll open up more opportunities for us to get guys that we couldn't get before. But the key is making sure that they still fit um, what we want from them and the mission of our school and mission of our team. Now, have you educate me a little bit here on BYU, if you don't mind, because got a lot of BYU fans that have really liked the channel, and I'm trying to learn as much as I can about course, you guys yeah. in the league. But we're talking about rivalries. I mean, I, I see some of it on Twitter, but Utah BYU obviously is a mm-hmm. big one. How, for someone that has not experienced it and has not been around it, what what is that BYU Utah rivalry like? Oh, it's one of the best rivalries in, in college sports, and so um, the, the fact that we're close close uh, forty five minutes away from each other, um, the fact that that uh, you know we we've, there's a great connection. I mean, it, it's it, it, in involving households an example my older brother played at utah me and my little brothers played at byu so there's they're already and that's not very uncommon in all the households in the state of utah but um i I think it then you have success on both both sides Uh, i coached there for 10 years so it's just this you have there's a connection to both sides in so many different ways and then it plays itself out on the field and on the court and, and levels of competition um, and then you have passionate fans that care about their teams. So when that happens, rivalries do happen. So I, I imagine rivalries will happen in this conference. I'm looking forward to it because I think there's a – my approach to it is, is to really show a lot of respect and appreciation for the teams that we compete against. And that, that, that matters to me. And I want our teams to play with that sportsmanship and that type of approach to the game. And uh, hopefully we can – I don't tell fans what to do because uh, they're fans. They can – behave however they want. I just, I'm interested in trying to make them happy. So uh, if I can do my job and make the fans happy, but I know that our fans uh, will show respect and, and, and appreciation for everybody, especially in this conference. So I saw a picture on social media of you earlier with Sark. I was looking this up. So you, you just missed him, am I right, in your playing yeah. career? Just so barely? I was involved in recruiting him over to BYU. Okay. So I, I played my true freshman year. And um, when Sark was coming on his visit and met, was able to host him and Kind of be involved with him that way, and then he, uh, you know, he decided to come to BYU, and then I up, up and left and went on my mission, and I went and served in the the Bay Area for two years while he was playing. But I was able to come back and and, and see him and then uh, see their team, the team finish the the bowl game and play in the Cotton Bowl. So, but I've always followed him, and then he and I have been friends uh, throughout the years in coaching, and we've always stayed in contact. And I've, I've been, I've always followed him, and I've, and he's always been really good to me. So. Uh, he'll always be a friend. What do you What do you remember about Sark as a would have been a junior college recruit coming in, right? What do you remember from him back at that point? A lot of confidence, and he's a baseball player, so he knew he knew that he had a strong arm. Um, but I, I like the swag that he brought with him. I, I thought he brought a high level of confidence, and it it it, it actually it, it it affected the whole team, and um, and and you can see him doing that as a leader and as a coach, and so. Uh, he's, he's got the it factor, man, and, and he knows how to get the most out of his guys and get them playing at a high level, which is why a lot of people predicted them to, to win the conference. Well, I'm a K-State guy, so as a seven-year-old kid, he, he broke my heart in that Cotton Bowl. Oh, I, yeah. I'll, that was, I'll tell you that much. And, and, and K-State's had a lot of uh, – well, I mean, I, I've actually enjoyed watching K-State play. I, I like their brand of football. Uh, I, I think they have an amazing coach. And um, – I just like the, the, the identity that comes along with that team. and Obviously, we don't play them this year, but I, I, I look forward to the matchup someday. Have you crossed paths with Chris Kleiman very much at all? I have, and, and really impressive uh, man. And I just I, – I, I really agree with a lot of what he does as a coach. Mm-hmm. And um, I like his style, man. I, I, I think we're, we're different people, but I really, I really feel when I watch his teams, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's how it should be done. And so I, 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 there's a lot of ways where – where I appreciate what he does, and we've been able to in these Big 12 meetings, we've been able to talk quite a bit. And, yeah, uh, very impressive man, and I, I know he's an 
an awesome coach, but it's been really cool for me to see him in a different, in a, you know, it's, it's good when you watch someone on TV and then they end up being exactly who they are, what you think they are, and the genuine person that they are, they show it to you in a, in a private setting, and that's 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 Chris Kleiman right there. Yeah. Who are you tightest with out of the coaching fraternity across the country? Oh, the country, I mean, Kyle Whittingham, who I yeah. work for, and, and, and um, so I'm close to him, but I'm close to a lot of coaches. I, I think I, I like, um, I like connecting with all the coaches and, and, and uh, talking to them because if anybody understands what I'm going through, it's them, you know. Yeah. So I, I always try to reach out and talk to head coaches as much as possible. But I mean, I, I'm 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 connected to Dave Aranda as well. I, I, there's there's a lot of coaches that are out there that I that I really enjoy talking to, and and quite a bit that I get to be able to, you know, I'm Sonny Dykes. I've, I've been able to hang out with him and his wife. Kate and we've been, there's all these coaching events. We do this uh, this coaches golf tournament in in um, Pebble Beach, and uh, I mean I, I'm horrible at golf, but I actually like going there just for the people. I get to hang out with yeah. amazing coaches and and legendary coaches, you know. So and I see a lot of the, a lot of the coaches from our conference in those uh, those those uh, events and things like that. I did the Nike event with other coaches in our conference, so. Uh, I, I, I've really enjoyed it and, and just enjoyed my time so far in the Big, Big 12 and being a part of the, the, the Big 12 family. Who's the best golfer out of the coaching fraternity that you played with? Um, I think, well, Rick Neuheisel is an amazing golfer, but okay. he's, uh, you know, he's he's not coaching and he's, he's in the TV and stuff like that. But I would say with active coaches, I think Blake Anderson's a really good co uh, golfer. Um, trying to think of who else is good i heard uh if you look at it i think every quarterback is a great golfer i, I haven't met anybody that so i, I imagine lincoln riley's got to be a really good uh, golfer and maybe maybe us guys that, that played fullback and linebacker and other positions and have that defensive coordinator background maybe don't, maybe don't play golf as well so i don't i don't know how how good coach climate is, is at golf i don't know but but he I, likes it. I'm not sure how good he is. I think maybe Lance Leopold would be a good. I think yep. he, I would guess he'd be a good golfer. But yeah, I, all these coaches are amazing people. By the way, I just love hanging out and talking to them all. The last thing I have for you, I heard this actually from it's like the radio guys across the way. They said that Tom, they were talking to him and they figured out he's like best friends with Andy Reid, real close oh, with yeah. Andy Reid. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge Chiefs have. fan. Yeah. yeah, I need to well, give me the the scoop on Andy Reid. Are, are, do you get to tag along on some oh, of these yeah. trips to go I, see him? Well, I mean, I. I would love to go and be, you know, see Andy, and, and but I talk to him quite a bit. And I reach out probably, I, I want to reach out to him more because he's a legend. Yeah. And so, um, but he's been really available for me to, to kind of interact with and talk to. And he's come to our teams, uh, to our, 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 our games. He came to a game uh, last year and the year before. And, um, I know he's really proud of being, uh, you know, being a, a BYU uh, alumni and being able to, he, he is, and I talked about my admiration for Lavelle Edwards. He, he's the closest thing to Lavelle now that Lavelle has, has passed. And uh, I'm so happy that, that he's seen the success that he has and that, that he has such a great connection with his players. Um, you know, and, and, and when you see guys that leave the Chiefs and then he still goes out and wins the Super Bowl. I mean, that that's an amazing coach. He's a legend. And um, I, I'm, I'm actually really proud that, that I can hang out with him his his uh, son was was our uh, was our strength coach and okay. and but then he turned around and hired him back to Kansas City so uh, you know we're, we're, we're definitely connected and um, man I'm just happy when when he went to the Kansas City Chiefs a bunch of BYU fans became Chiefs fans yeah. so uh, I, I know the Chiefs fans don't the Chiefs fans don't need any help but uh, there's a lot of people that cheer for BYU that now cheer for Kansas City as well. Yeah, well, I'm certainly grateful for it. So we thank yeah. you for, uh, for thank, Andy Reid. Thank and you so much. Thank you very much for your time, Kalani. Really appreciate it. Best of luck this season. This is an honor being here. Thank you. Appreciate it, John. Absolutely.